Hi guys, this is Emmanuel from WindowsReport.com and in this video we're gonna talk about Ethernet doesn't have a valid IP configuration in Windows 10 problem. To remind you, we also have a Wi-Fi doesn't have a valid IP configuration fix video. So if you want to uh, see that video, go ahead and check it out. But if you have problems with your Ethernet connection, stay here in this video because I'm going to show you how to solve it. So the first thing that we should do is disable fast startup. So to do that, we just have to press the Windows key plus X. Then in this list, we have to select power options. Then we have to click on choose what the power button does. Then click on change settings that are currently unavailable. And here you'll have in this list fast startup. You just have to disable it very easily by unchecking it. I don't have it, but you'll have it if that feature is running on your PC. So after you've done that, you just have to restart your PC. And this is the first step into solving the issue. If the problem is solved, you're good to go. But if not, stay here for a few more steps. The second step that we should do is to restart your router after you've done the first thing and check your Ethernet cable. So you just have to close your modem and open it up after five minutes and then check the cable. Make sure that the cable doesn't have any damages to it. And if it's all OK, then the problem could be from the modem. But if you're sure that the problem is not from the modem, you should try to reinstall your network adapter. So that's very easy to do. You just have to press Windows plus X, then select device manager, then go to network adapters and expand it. And you have here the network adapter. You just right click on it, disable, then right click and uninstall. So after you restart your PC, Windows will automatically install a default driver for it. And that driver could be the correct one that will make sure your Ethernet connection works. Also, after you've done this, you should try to search for your latest network card driver so you could install it yourself and the problem should be fixed. Don't forget also to check out the article in the description. This thing is very important because there you'll have a few more solutions and very well explained. So you should try doing those solutions also. But for this video, those are the steps that I showed you. All things clear, all things said. I was Manual from windowsreport.com. Until next time, bye bye.